going to be reading from Isaiah chapter 53. I'm going to begin in verse 7. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before its shears is silent, so he did not open his mouth. By oppression and judgment he was taken away, Yet who of his generation protested? For he was cut off from the land of the living. For the transgressions of my people he was punished. He was assigned a grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death. Though he had done no violence, nor was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it was the Lord's will to crush him and cause him to suffer. And through the Lord makes his life an offering for sin. He will see his offspring and prolong his days. And the will of the Lord will prosper in his hand. After he has suffered, he will see the light of life and be satisfied by his knowledge my righteous servant will be justified many, and he will bear their iniquities. Therefore I will give him a portion among the great, and he will divide the spoils with the strong, because he poured out his life unto death and was numbered with the transgressors. For he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. Isaiah prophesied that hundreds of years before Jesus was on earth. It was by God's purpose that Jesus went to the cross of Calvary. But what makes it important? Jesus tells us to remember him and to partake of the Lord's Supper every Sunday. And it's something we do as a group, and it's very important to do it as a group. But at the same time, it's important to evaluate it individually because Jesus died for you, because Jesus did this for you so that you could have forgiveness of sins, so that you could be righteous, so that you could have peace with God, his Father, and God, our Father. Let's go to our Father and give thanks. 